Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Hump Brothers Pizza slash Realtree Ford from 2023. So let's take a look at the box. Once again, you just have the generic 75th anniversary box. 2023 NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR 75th anniversary, Lionel Racing. Render the car right there, Stuart Haas Racing, standard finish, 75th anniversary. Made total 504 of these things. NASCAR Cup Series, standard finish. On the back, got NASCAR 75th anniversary again. Action Racing Collectibles, Lionel Garage, NASCAR. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. The counterpoint to the black throwback one we already took a look at. I assume this was part of the deal where, like, once Realtree and Hot Brothers Pizza got together, that they were like, okay, if one race, you guys can run the Realtree throwback paint scheme that you want to run. And then the other race, we're going to run a more Hump Brothers Pizza paint scheme. And this one looks so much better than that throwback one. Just the, like, Hump Brothers Pizza Green works so nicely with the Realtree camera on the bottom. You got the diagonal logo, the chrome number. This just looks fantastic to me. And you still have some of, like, the ghosted green design, like the normal Hump Brothers Pizza cars have down the side and such, up in the green parts. Just a really cool-looking paint scheme. I love when you have combo paint schemes that work with different sponsors and stuff, because sometimes they don't work, sometimes they look terrible, sometimes they work quite nicely. And this one, yeah, it's pizza and hunting gear, but, like, I'm sure some people, when they're hunting, eat pizza, so <laughs> it kind of works. But it's just such a beautiful design. I love the camo pattern down the side. I said I've always had a I've always had a soft spot for diagonal logos for some reason. It just looks cool to me. I don't know. This was ran at Dover last season. One of the many, many paint schemes he ran. <laughs> I forget exactly what the number was, but it's like 20-something different paint schemes Harvick ran last year. There were very few paint schemes that lasted more than like a couple races. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Hump Brothers Pizza. Got Ford Mustang, number four, and Stuart Haas Racing. Down the side, you got Realtree. Got Bush Light down there. Back here, you have Sunny D, Pristine Auctions, and Hump Brothers Pizza again. Got Gear Wrench on the C post. On the B post, you have Forever, Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Hump Brothers Pizza, and Rush Truck Centers. Harvick's name with the flag right there. Got the 75th Anniversary logo and the NASCAR Salutes logo. This was run close to the uh, Memorial Day weekend, so they have the NASCAR Salutes logo for a good chunk of the time there. It does actually have the little, like, splitter ends colored in like the real cars have. Lionel really goes back and forth whether or not they add those to the diecast or not. Like, there's really random cars. Like, Joey's Awful Mosaic diecast has them. A couple of the Chase Elliott cars has them, but they not all of them. It's weird. Anyways, on the back, you have Hump Brothers Pizza and Realtree. Got four GT. Got the Ford Michigan license plate, Mobile One, number four. So you got a little, what, Realtree Edge logo that's reversed, mirrored for some reason. wonder if that was like that on the real car. <laughs> got Hump Brothers Pizza on the deck lid with Bush on the roof. This is number 303. And got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you got Powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Wix filters. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid. The roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. Now, we'll talk about the car like this. Just another really cool Kevin Harvick paint scheme for his final year. Probably one of the best, like, quote-unquote, new paint schemes for his final season. So I absolutely love how this thing looks. That green and that camo just works really nicely together in my eyes. That was one of the few times Harvick got a chrome number. I don't think Harvick really got that many chrome number cars. The chrome number thing really is odd. Like, there's certain teams like Trackhouse and Roush that use it for, like, 90% of their paint schemes. But then there's, like, a bunch of teams that haven't even touched it. Like, Stuart House Racing has only occasionally run one. Like, Penske only ran one, I think, like, once or twice when Blady had a chrome number on his uh, advanced auto parts paint scheme. Although I think he might have, that, that body armor car he ran at the Coke 600 might have had a pink chrome number. I don't remember. It's weird how the chrome number thing just doesn't seem to fully catch on ever. <laughs> I think Penske and some of the teams should use it more. Like, think of how cool Logano's car could look with a chrome red number on it normally. But, I don't know. Only here's the die cast because then I have to be cost more. <laughs> Anyways, if you want this card as a recent release, you can get it right now. This card did not get super rare or anything. 
Remember, for all your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com and if you use the code BWAC, you get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. So go check it out if you want anything. But anything strange, all there is to say, this has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Real Tree Hump Brothers Pizza Camel Green Ford. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.